Thank you for watching Connecting the Dots. I'm Cindy Shu. You heard from young people around the world, and now we turn to local teenagers. There are many programs in schools aimed at giving kids the tools they need to be mentally fit. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas shows us how one organization is giving students what they need to build resilience. Behind the hustle and bustle of Manhattan, and tucked away beneath another busy school day. So we're gonna get started with three deep breaths. A break, 45 tranquil minutes here in the basement of New Design High School on the Lower East Side. On your inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Where these kids forget about calculus and chemistry. And exhale. And clear their minds through yoga. It gives you like release out of all the stress that you've been going through, especially during school, colleges, going through the college process and stuff like that. New Design is one of seven New York City public schools currently offering yoga courses through Bent on Learning, a nonprofit that launched in 2001 and then started teaching stress management at schools near Ground Zero after 9 11. Exhale, down dog. Bent on Learning invited me to a course and showed me how they navigate a new challenge. The pandemic has definitely had a significant impact on kids and uh, we, you know, hope that the practices that we're teaching them will uh, give them the skills that they need to, um, like I said, you know, manage their emotions. It's one tool in the battle against a complex problem. Experts say feelings of sadness and suicidal thoughts in kids were already rising, then the pandemic only worsened the problem. We're not a panacea by any means, you know, there's, there's many things that help kids well-being and data shows states across the country may be lacking when it comes to another tool. A recent study found 60% of youth with major depression do not get any mental health treatment. We're facing a national crisis of children's mental health. At the same time, there are not enough child and adolescent psychiatrists. Dr. Warren Ng is a professor of psychiatry with Columbia University and the president of the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, or AACAP. Data from that organization shows all 50 states suffer a statewide shortage of child psychiatrists, defined by the AACAP as fewer than 47 per 100,000 children. What does that mean for kids in this country? It means that it means that we're facing the reality of underinvestment in terms of acknowledging the mental health needs of children and adolescents. New York and New Jersey fare better than most states. And when it comes to counties, Manhattan is a rare example where the number of child psychiatrists exceeds the need. But there is room for improvement in New York City. Particularly children of color, communities of color and lower income. Those kids continue to be underserved, even within heavily sort of um, enriched environments like Manhattan or New York City. The President of the United States. President Joe Biden acknowledged the problems during his State of the Union address, and the White House recently announced a $280 million grant program to help schools hire more mental health counselors. When millions of young people are struggling with bullying, violence, trauma, we have them greater access to mental health care at their schools. Back at New Design High School, freshman Estrella Miranda says she's feeling a change from how she felt during the height of the pandemic. I was like really stressed and my mental health wasn't that good, I feel. Having yoga and being able to like be with yourself and have like some sort of peace of mind is really nice. She just started her second semester of yoga after enjoying the first one so much. Surrender, soften, release. And the moments of stillness beneath a city that never stops moving. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. We have more information and resources on our website. Click on Breaking the Stigma. And if you know a child who needs help, there's help available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 988 for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.